Hello Rules Reacts here and welcome to another blind commentary. Today I'm going to be continuing the Ruby series with Volume 6, Episode 12, Seeing Red. Um, so this is right after the robot fight, well still in the middle of the robot fight against uh, Cordovan and Blake's fighting Adam and now she has Yang helping her uh, fight him. I also want to correct myself on something. Um, I say on a couple of things. One, there was a line that Cordovan said where I thought she said heart light dust, but she said hard light dust, referring to the shield technology they have, which apparently is dust based. I didn't realize that, which is why I thought she said heart light dust. Um, and I also wanted to correct that the brand on Adam's eye says SD, um, SDC which stands for Snee Dust Company. I couldn't make it out very well because, you know, his eye is kind of in the way of it, but apparently he was branded by them, which makes sense because Blake said that she was experienced in disarming um, Atlas's technology. So it makes sense that Adam would go after the Snee Dust Company for hurting him. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. This is it. Here we have another Genlock um, advertisement. Apparently for Genlock, only the first episode is available for the public, and then the rest of them are first member only episodes. So if you want to rock so if you want to watch the rest of Genlock after you watch the first episode, you have to buy a first member's um, subscription. I won't do that, so um, if you want me to react to Genlock, sorry. I can't do that because I refuse to spend the money for the first member, um, first member subscription. It's only twenty dollars for six months, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth it to me personally. I also realized that Adam's uh, semblance is very fitting for his character because the semblance that he lets his sword absorb any physical damage he might take and he's able to dish it back at the ones who dealt it to him or anyone for that matter. Um, it makes sense because he's emotionally unstable because he can't deflect emotional damage. Well, at least in his ca case he can't. So. Yeah, it makes sense that he would just lash out because he doesn't know how to deal with that. And there's only one more episode after this one, so... Kind of surprised, because this season doesn't really feel like it should be coming to a close at this point. It feels very, like, like they're going to leave us on a very big cliffhanger. Season 7 better be amazing. Is what I'm trying to say. You just couldn't keep this rivalry between us, could you, Calavera? You had to rope in children to fail with you. <laughs> nice to see Cordovan's people cheering for. Um, you guys might want to pay attention to your uh, technology. Huh? Well, we're all ears. Yeah. Guys! The cylinder on Cordo's cannon rotates and locks in a giant dust cartridge every time she changes attack style. We noticed. Right, but her missile launcher doesn't lock in. It pops out. Without her shields, one well-placed shot can detonate the missiles while they're still in the launcher. Oh, yeah. Cannon. Oscar, that's brilliant. Can you make that kind of shot? We'll only get one chance before she catches on. I'd have to be practically staring down the barrel of her cannon. Well, I've got a way to guarantee that. Oh, so this will be interesting. Ruby, what are you doing? Don't worry about Ruby. Of course she's not going to die. She's the main character of the series, and it's named after her, sort of. Hey, Siri, I swear to God. I hate it when my uh, phone's series goes off just because I'm <laughs> talking. One missile, you say? That's a shame, Maria, because I have plenty! Will you do crazy? 
easy! Sometimes the best approach is simply the most direct! Uh oh. I think she saw that. Oh, and she misses. Uh oh. You thought you could fool me? Uh oh. That's not good. Uh oh. That's kind of how I expected it to go, to be honest. We're still in one piece. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there but you still have Cordovan to deal with. Can't compete with the intellect of man. Come on, come on. Ruby, what are you doing? I need you to trust me. So, what now? Surrender for your crimes and accept your punishment. No! to Atlas. Bigger people than you have tried to stop us and failed. But we're supposed to be on the same side. We're supposed to use our power to protect people. But you just use yours to look down on everyone. We didn't want to steal from you. We did it because you gave us no other choice. Now I'm giving you one last chance to stand down and hear us out. I kind of want to buy the soundtrack from this season. I've it's really good. Enough. Yeah, that's not going to be enough to convince her. Ruby! Wait, what? She's what is she doing? But the raw dust gets locked in. Oh, she's gonna blow it up from the inside? What? Oh, wow. Okay, that was really clever on her part. Ruby. Ruby? <gasps> Told ya. Tell me I missed it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you knew you couldn't win two on one at Haven. What makes you so sure you can win now? I don't have a choice. Oh yeah, I see it clearly I now. It says SDC. Care about me. And I promised I'd never leave them again. So I'm not dying now. You know, she made a promise to me once that she'd always be at my side. And look how well she's kept it. Did she make that oh, promise whatever, to you? Adam. Or to the person you were pretending to be? So I just wasn't good enough for you. You know it's so much more than that. I know you've made your choice. And I've made mine. Okay, then. Yeah, that's right. Blake's weapon got broken in the last episode. I forgot about that. Looks like she can still use it somewhat. Yeah. 
This is a cool scene. I like this. Ooh. Blake! Moment of truth, Yang. Do you think you're faster than you were at Beacon? You have to bring that up. Me neither. Your aura is bound to be running low. What is Blake doing? Called friendship, but I don't think you understand what that means. She used her semblance, so I don't think you're gonna defeat her that easily anymore. Gotcha. Nice. It's nice to see Yang use her semblance after so long. Faster. Oh. But I'm smarter. No. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's what Blake was doing. Whoa. Actually killed Adam. Whoa. Yeah, that was probably the only way to end this, because there's no way he would be able to listen to reason, right? We know you won't. I know you won't. <laughs> no! 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 You! You're never getting to Atlas! Do you hear me? Never! All forces! Converge on my position and eliminate these pests at once! Run! Everyone on board! We're making a run for it. What about Yang and Blake? Ma'am, we oh, yeah. to reach you. Argus is in danger. What? Yeah, like I said, they should have been paying attention to their uh, radar. But, um... Oh, whoa. That's a grin we've never seen before. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, you two might want to. Everybody might want to get out of the way. Wow. Oh yeah, right. Oh, Leviathan Grim. Okay. Oh, this is a bad situation. They kind of took out the robot. That would have been really helpful for that. Um, right, because negative emotions attract to Grimm, and there's a lot of negative emotions from Adam, um, from Adam versus Blake and Yang, there was negative tension there because of Adam's, uh, incapable, um, ability to be able to deal with his emotions, which got him killed in the end. And Cordovan shouting and all that. So we'll have to see how they deal with that horde of, um, of Grimm. But it looks like the Leviathan uh, summoned the smaller ones. So it looks like they have to take out the Leviathan. Otherwise, the other Grimm will just keep coming. 
But yeah, I really liked this uh, episode. I thought there was a lot of good character growth for Ruby, for Blake, and Yang as well. Um, I don't think I'm sorry to see Adam go. It's just very anticlimactic, anticlimactic, I guess. Because I kind of saw it coming. Like, that was one of the ways I thought it'd be resolved, either by him dying or he comes to his senses and he runs away and he just avoids them for the rest of his life. But, of course, that one wasn't going to happen. Um, But, yeah, I really liked this episode. If you guys did, too, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my gaming channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or any subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls Reacts, signing off. Talk to you later.